There are a lot of shows on TV that are based on DC Comics. Now, I've already done lists on the animated movies and animated shows coming out in 2018. Links to these videos are in this video's description. But this list is of the DC Comics being adapted into live action shows. First, we have Krypton. Krypton is a show that is of course about Krypton, the planet where Superman is originally from. The show is set about 200 years before Superman is born and Krypton is destroyed in Man of Steel. The show is going to follow Superman's grandfather, Seg El, whose family, the House of El, has been ostracized and shamed. Seg El fights to redeem his family's honor and save his beloved world from chaos. Seg El is in his early 20s and secretly in a relationship with Lighter Zod, and I personally would love it if it turned out that Superman was related to General Zod but we'll have to see if they take it that route. It's not been made clear that we'll share continuity with the new Superman's movie universe, though I kind of doubt it will be linked because it could stifle a lot of their creative ideas as the show goes on. But you never know it might be linked, just as S.H.I.E.L.D. is linked with Marvel's cinematic universe. But in either case, they're not really being very forthcoming about it, which kind of feels like they're just trying to create some buzz and make people think it's connected, and then it won't be. But we'll have to wait to see. The series is being developed by David S. Goyer and Damien Kindler, and set to be released on the channel Sci-Fi. And along with Superman's family and a lot of other Kryptonians, the show will also feature Adam Strange, Brainiac, Doomsday, and Hawkgirl. So it could be worth a watch. Next we have Titans. This is set to feature on DC's new streaming service, which has yet to have a name. DC are using this show, along with the third season of Young Justice, to boost the ratings of the DC online streaming and create an audience. The series is being developed by Akiva Goldsman, Jeff Johns, Greg Berlanti, and Sarah Shahesta with Goldsman, Johns and Balanti the writing the pilot episode, and they're also the executive producer of the series. The lineup of the show is set to be the same as the animated TV series, meaning Dick Grayson, Raven, Beast Boy and Starfire, though Hawk and Dove are set to appear as well and may be added as regular members, most likely depending on how popular they become in the show. Cyborg has yet to be confirmed, and some people don't think he'll feature as he's getting his own film in 2020, and DC might not want the two to conflict. But The Flash is getting his own film, and he's got his own TV series with two separate actors, so I don't really see what the problem is with two different cyborgs. And if it doesn't have him, then to me, the show just won't be the real Titans. And though it's the same lineup, it's not looking like it will be in the same universe as any of the animated TV shows or movies. Personally, I want it to be part of the Arrowverse, just as an alternate universe like Supergirl's planet is. And since Greg Berlanti is working on the show, the man who produced Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow, it has a decent chance of being eventually linked into that universe. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to have Kid Flash cross over to this series, as his role on The Flash is really undefined, and he just feels like an extra most of the time to be honest. And Kid Flash on the Titans would be awesome in my opinion, and does link into the back history, as Kid Flash has been a member of the Teen Titans in both the comics and in the animated shows. The cast for the show so far is Tegan Croft as Raven, Anna Diop as Starfire, Brenton Thwaites as Dick Grayson, Ryan Potter as Beast Boy, Alan Richardson as Hawk, Minka Daly as Dove, and Lindsay Gort has been cast as Amy Rohrbach. Next we have Watchmen. The show was adapted into the movie of the same name by Zack Snyder, and I personally didn't really like that film that much, but if you did, good for you. However, Zack Snyder, although he was briefly tied to the project in the beginning, will not be working on the TV show. Instead, the pilot episode was written by Damien Lindoff, who has worked on Lost and The Leftovers. The show has been picked up by HBO and is set to premiere in 2018. Watchmen is of course the best-selling graphic novel of all time, so it's not really that surprising that it's being adapted into a TV show, when so many other DC comics have already been adapted. And needless to say, the writer of the comic, Alan Moore, will not be attached to the project, as he hates any and all adaptions of its comics. This show actually sounds like a good idea to me. Like I said, I didn't really like the movie, because the story structure of it was just so all over the place. We would see one character's story, and then we would jump away to see Dr. Manhattan's story and all his origin, and then we'd jump back to the other story. Basically, it read like comics being released month to month, which doesn't really, in my opinion, work for a movie, but it would be perfect for a TV show, because the movie was almost like TV episodes all linked together. So this could actually be a really good idea as a TV series. Next on the list, we have Black Lightning, which will be on CW and amazingly will not feature as part of the Arrowverse, which is crazy in my opinion, but at this time it's not part of the Arrowverse. Though the showmakers have said that this may change in the future and they could eventually have a crossover into the other shows. So to me, I think that the show will eventually cross over and be part of the Arrowverse's multiverse, especially if they need to boost the show's ratings at any point. The show is about Black Lightning, a superhero who retired many years ago because of the effect it was having on his family. Let someone else do it. Father. Baby, I promise. No more. 
But because of his retirement, the gang The 100 has grown in their influence and has started taking over his neighbourhood and recruiting honour roll students into their gang. And so he decides to once again become the superhero Black Lightning in order to protect his community. And the show is going to focus on how being a superhero affects his family life and the focus will be on the characters rather than their exploits. As his name suggests, he can harness and control electricity and is played by Cress Williams. And the show was created by Mara Blocker Kill and her husband Salima Kill. The show is set to air on January 16th, 2018 and there'll be 13 episodes for the first season. Though I have to say CW may change this, but at the moment this is the set date. And that is all of the shows set to appear in 2018. There is also one other show called Scalped, which is a comic with a modern day detective theme, but set in a Native American Indian reservation. So far, Scalped has had a pilot made in 2017. The pilot was produced by the network WGN America, and as of yet, it's not been announced if they will be picking up the show for a full season. Most likely it will depend on the reception the pilot gets in 2018. The show is based on the comic, which is also named Scalped, that was made by Jason Aaron and R.M. Guara, and features an all Native American cast. And so far, that is all that is known about the project. Personally, out of all of these shows, I'm probably most looking forward to watching Titans, with Black Lightning as a close second. But which of these shows are you most looking forward to? And what stories and characters do you want the shows to feature? Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Need a Mouse Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that's helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.